Right. So if you have read and understood, considering it's surgical anatomy station, kindly please tell me what image are you looking at? I'm looking at the uh, abdominal cavity. Is it a is it the abdominal cavity? No, or this a, yeah, this is abdominal wall, anterior abdominal wall. Sorry. Yes, anterior. Yeah, abdominal wall. Thinking... Which has been dissected into layers. You can see into layers. Okay, yeah. can you please identify the structures, if possible, from A to G, please? Which, what is A? A is a lean alba. Very good. B, please. Um, B, uh, is, uh, uh, B, I think it is the ex uh, uh, external oblique of neurosis. Is it epineurosis or the muscle? No. Because Not I mean, so the it's a little bit blurred for me. Okay, I'm sorry that the intertendinous maybe. Yeah, intertendinous. Okay, yeah. see please. Quickly see the external, external oblique. Yeah. Okay, can you identify number D please quickly? Number D is the rectus abdominis. Yes, can you please identify E please? Uh, e is uh, uh, the. Uh, Gastric uh, superficial uh, inferior superficial gastric vessel. Very good. F please. F is uh, umbilicus. Very good. Uh, G please. G is a posterior border of the uh, rectus sheath. Uh, if a p patient comes to your uh, surgical outdoor and okay. patient has a wound mm. penetrating in the lower abdomen, uh, from outside mm. to inside, what are the layers uh, that uh, knife has penetrated? Skin superficial fascia. Yes. Uh, yeah, and um, uh, subcutaneous fascia. Yes. After that, the uh, uh, scarb fascia. Continue, please. Uh, yeah. Uh, after that, the uh, posterior, uh, the, an the anterior uh, rectus sheath, rectus muscle, anterior uh, uh, posterior rectus uh, wall. After that, the uh, uh, parietal peritoneum and uh, the peritoneum cavity then. Okay, the posteriorly the wall uh, is deficient. Sorry, yeah. the ball is deficient in the posterior. Yes. At what level? At the level of umbilicus. Is it? I think so. Upper two third and middle one third. Okay. All yeah. right. Can you please tell me what are you looking at? This is abdominal cavity this time. Yeah. Yes, but what exactly are you looking at? Uh, the the uh, this is a retroperitoneum. And looking at the aorta. Yes. And the inferior vena cava, and can yeah. identify the renal veins. Yes. On both sides, can identify the gonadal, the right gonadal vein, the right on the right side. I can identify the ureter, and the uh, suprarenal gland. Yes, D is suprarenal gland. What is yeah. this? This is a kidney, the left kidney. Yes. Okay. Can you see this organ? But can you identify it? Uh, this is a, a interior. Uh, this is the internal oblique of uh, muscle. Sorry, internal oblique muscle. Or, or yeah, this is one it's of the uh, abdominal muscles, either the transverse or the uh, okay. transverse abdominis or. Uh, the outer one is the external oblique open uh, external uh, oblique muscle okay yeah. can you please tell me uh if you can if you can identify this structure over here please. this is the right gonadal vein okay vein and what is this one this is a ureter right ureter okay and what is passing above ureter this is a, a right gonadal, gonadal uh, artery. Yes, yes, artery. Very good. What is the significance of this artery in case of females? Uh, must be mistakenly. Uh, yes, uh, in yeah, size. Like, during, ligated, yes. Yeah. Mistakenly during, ligated during the pelvic surgery. Yes, very good. If you can look at this image on the left-hand side, can you identify the image? What are you looking at, please? I'm looking at the uh, orthogram. In what are the indications when this image is asked for? Uh, maybe the patient is uh, having symptoms suggesting um uh, uh mesenteric 
uh, ischemia or there is a, a possibility of uh, uh, aneurysm. Okay. okay. Can, aneurysm. can you okay. please identify the structures labeled? Mm. Mark, a, a is uh, the aorta. Yes, abdominal aorta. Very good. Abdominal nice. aorta, yes. yes yeah. B. B is a right uh, common car uh, right, right common, common iliac. Yes, C please. Left common iliac. Yes, D please. The left uh, uh, renal artery. Yes, please. Uh, e. E is a uh, right renal artery. Yes, F please. F is the splenic artery. Very good. And uh, G. G is a uh, common hepatic artery. Very nice. H. Here. H is a superior mesenteric artery. I. I is a gastrointestinal artery. J, please. J is a left hepatic yes. artery. Yes. K, please. K is the right one. Right hepatic. Okay. L, last one. L is the inferior mesenteric artery. Okay. Right. If you can, uh, since we are talking about aorta, if you can identify on the right hand side. Mm. Structure three, please. Structure three. Which can you point it for me? Yes, please. Uh, this is, a, yeah. this is our abdominal aorta, yeah. Yes. Okay. And if sorry, this is one. I'm sorry. Three is here. See, this is a uh, this is the right common iliac artery. Okay. Right. If you can identify this blue st structure. This is uh, the left and right gonadal veins. Very nice. Okay. And if you can identify this, is it the same? Which one? Yes, it's the same. No, right and left. No. Yeah, right and left. Yeah. Okay, right and left. Can you, uh, by any chance, identify this structure structure over here? This is uh, 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 the tortuous vessel. Yes. Yes, this is the right, this is the right, yeah, the right gonadal artery. Okay, is it gonadal? Uh, right. Can you identify, uh, or can you identify this structure over here? Uh, this is the inferior vena cava. Can you tell me the tributaries of inferior vena cava, please? Oh, yeah. Uh, uh, first of all, the left and right common iliac veins. And then lumbar veins. Okay, we are ascending from down up lumbar okay. veins. Yes. And then, yeah, uh, and then uh, right and left. Uh, veins. Gonadal, and then yes. right and left renal. And then right and left uh, uh, suprarenal. Yes. Then uh, hepatic. Right and left hepatic. Uh, and then uh, the inferior EV gastric. Epigastric uh, or? Uh, phrenic, sorry. Phrenic. Sorry, so sorry, sorry. And then it is formed for formed and by 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 the two common iliac arteries, uh, two common iliac veins. Veins at the level of if you can com answer complete at the level of T A. F five. That's uh, T eight when it enters uh, through the aortic aperture. If yes. uh, right. Coming back to abdom uh, abdominal aorta, if you can name the interior branches of abdominal aorta, how many they are, and are what three. are their names? They are three. The first one is the celiac at, T at the lower level of T12. Then yes. they are at L1, the superior mesenteric artery, and yes. at L3, the inferior mesenteric artery. Yes. And what are the posterior branches of abdominal aorta? How many they are, and what are they called? Uh, there is a lumbar. There is there is five no, lumbar. Arteries. Lumbars are not posterior branches. They are lateral branches. Uh, there is one. Uh, yes, a medium. medium. Artery. Yes. Yeah. Very good. Excellent. Okay. Right. Uh, one more question I wanted to ask you. If you can tell me about the sympathetic trunk, where should it be located, and can you by any chance see it in this image anywhere? If you can identify it, please. Sympathetic trunk. Yes, please. Uh, it's just uh, it lies on the uh, anterior surface of the aorta. Does okay. it? Um, it? Can you see? What is this? Uh, this is a uh, the hypogastric 
بلاك روز اوكي اه ان يس يا اي كان اي كان نوت سي ات فروم ماي موبايل فون سوري بوت نو ام سوري يس اتس نوت ذات ماتش نو اكشولي ات از 38 از سيمباتيك ترانك which one can you point it for me please this one this is 32 uh, wait in the center uh, yes in the center here 38 ah okay right how sympathetic trunk is formed please bell is gone but my questions were left so that's why i'm asking you and these are the questions that can be asked How sympathetic trunk form? Yes, please. What is sympathetic trunk? I have no idea, to be honest. Yes, we'll read that. Yeah, definitely. Because that can be asked. Okay, okay if you can tell me, because we are talking about the aorta and all this. Uh, you have already told me mesenteric angiogram. Mm -hmm. If you can, you've already told me the anterior relations. Okay, yes, anterior relations of the abdominal aorta. That can okay. be asked. All right, yeah. Uh, there is, we have two veins, superior mesenteric vein, and the, uh, uh, sorry, right and, uh, sorry, we have Let, two veins, two yes. arteries, two coils. Yes. Okay. But the veins okay. are not the ones you are telling me. They are different. Yeah, yeah, sorry. So uh, the uh, anteriorly the veins are uh, uh, we have the uh, splenic veins and splenic vein yes and because spleen is on the left side so easy to remember left renal vein left renal vein yes yes okay because it's on the left side so left renal vein then what else is and then we have the coils of the uh, mesentery as, as well. Yes, roots of the mesentery, and and we have the pancreas body of the pancreas. We have the third part of the uh, duodenum. Body, yes. Yeah, and we have um celiac trunk for sure. For sure. Celiac trunk with its branches and with its branches. Uh, SMA is also there. Okay. Yes. Superior. Good. Super mesenteric artery. Good. Nice. Thank you. Practice yes. too much. Uh, sometimes they can ask you the posterior branches. I uh, know I asked you posterior branches as well. Yeah. But they, you were right. They have mentioned lumbar arteries as one of the included in the posterior branches, but they are the, actually the lateral branches. Posterior yeah. is the one. You were right. The one you were telling me. But I was not considering that. Okay. Can you define uh? The posterior Aneurysm, please. Um, uh, aneurysm is a localized dilatation of an artery more than 50% uh, uh, of its regular uh, area. Can you mention some risk factors which contribute to... The main risk factor is hypertension. Yes. yes. And then uh, we, we consider family history, connective tissue disease and smoking. Yes, very good. Okay. Yeah. Uh, what is dissecting aneurysm? Dissecting aneurysm is a, the passage of the blood uh, between the layer of the artery. That uh, propagating and causing uh, pain and being liable to rupture. Okay, good. Uh, well, yeah, that could be the complication. Very good. Okay, thanks. Thank you. Thank you so much.